Hey everybody, it's Stacy. How are y'all doing? Um, I'm trying to get caught up and post some more things. I've had quite a few videos made and I just haven't been able to upload them because my computer's acting up and it won't recognize them. But uh, in the meantime, I'm, um, I'm trying to make some new ones too, but mainly I've been working on it, trying to get it to do right and it's been giving me a fit but anyway I've been doing just some regular flip cups and things like that so I thought I'd do a Shelly Yard uh, hair dryer swipe just to do something different um, what I'm actively doing is avoiding working on my stained glass um, look at that gunk where does that crap come from? I just now um, got that out of the container. There's no way it should have gunk in it. But it sure does. There's more gunk. I don't know where that crap comes from. Anyway, um, so this is mixed up my normal way. This is just a uh, Glidden Premium Semi Gloss um, Base 1 with a little bit of GAC 800 mixed in. And these colors are all mixed with paint to tint them this time. Um, and um, this is some of my favorite Thalo Green. Um, Liquitex Thalo Green. And... Um, left in there when you scrape the sides <laughs> um, and this is some uh, when I turn on magenta here I'll let these sit for a little bit so I stir them all good and um, for the colors what I do is uh, I mix some uh, one part bright tone, which is a varnish that Jen Needle turned me on to, and I love it. Um, you can use polycrylic, it works too. Um, I think the bright tone works better, but that's just me and Jen, <laughs> apparently. Um, anyway, um, it's one part. Uh, varnish, bright tone, or polycrylic, whatever you want to use, and uh, three parts, wooden premium, semi-gloss, base three, paint, and then, uh, we got to turn this, because it's drifting, because my table is still slanted, and then, um, for my cell activator, I use, um, um, one part flow trial, uh, two parts flow trial to one part, um, uh, Amsterdam white. I can't think and work at the same time, talk and work at the same time sometimes. I have problems. Um, yeah, and that's the cell activator. I had a little silicone to mine just because I mm, think it helps. Um, that, uh, green is my new, uh, one of my new iridescent Arteza colors. This is, uh, dioxazine purple. Um, that blue, um, is phthalo blue. And, uh, I think I got you caught up. I got way too much paint here, but that's what I normally do. I like to have lots of paint. I have a little bit too much this time. Um, but I'm going to use it all because I'm not going to do another one of these right after this. I'm going to do something else. And, uh. So I might as well just use it all. Okay. 
Now we'll do our cell activator. And, um, might as well use all that too. That's a lot, but, okay. Um, with the blow dryer. Alright, plug me in. Whoa, boy, that really, that really flew across there. Way too much shell activator on it and quite a bit too much paint in general so I kind of had to felt like I had to do that all right it's still moving into place I'm gonna give it a minute I can tell the paint's still migrating so we're gonna wait a second because you don't ever want to start tilting if your paint is still migrating into place. It won't do right. Um, that's got some pretty cells in it. I'm telling you, I think the silicone added to the cell activator helps. Um, and I've been using a whole different pouring medium. I've been doing, I didn't do it this time because I was out of Floetrol when I made this paint, but um, just using, uh, making each color like a cell activator. Um, in other words, using um, Floetrol and uh, just a little bit of the uh, Shelly Art pouring medium and mostly Floetrol. Um, and I really like the way that does. Um, it makes it pretty. Um, wow, this is... Um, really pretty, but um, I didn't want to have to pour that much. I, I didn't want to have to lose all those pretty cells over there, but I'm, I'm having to pour a lot off because there's so much on the canvas. It's gonna craze if I don't um, if I don't pour some off. That's probably enough now. Let me stretch it out a little bit. I think the colors are beautiful. All right, let's get that corner over there and stretch it. Um, stretch from that direction. And then, there. I think it's pretty. stretch that pretty blue and green up there out a little bit. Uh, it's really nice. Just a little bit. That's good. 
because that purple part over there is really beautiful too. The lacing and the saddles are beautiful. Um, and I think that's the bright tone for one thing. Um, really adds to the lacing and the cells. Um, but also, I think putting the silicone in there um, adds to the cells. Um, I think that's really pretty. I'm always wrestling with tape. Uh, I think that's beautiful. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm gonna charge it now where y'all can see. Okay, well, I'm going to give you the best angle. Um, let's just do this. Wow, beautiful. Look at that. My camera doesn't want to stay in focus. That's really pretty. It's funny how much prettier it looks up close when you can see how the colors blend together and all the pretty lacing and stuff. That's beautiful. All right, y'all. Here we go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, Thanks for helping me grow my channel. I've been working really hard, and y'all have been helping me out, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.